Hey guys, it's Justin from Jacob Elk Reptiles. Our episode this week is going to be a little different. We were actually in Kansas last week out there with the, the co-owner of JKR Gear, Mark Tovar. And the two of us were able to go on a really sweet field herping trip with Dan Kroll. Dan Kroll is the president of Small Scale Films, which is a non-profit corporation that produces short films about herb conservation groups to help them raise money. He has about 15 years experience breeding colubrid snakes and about 10 years of serious field experience pursuing herps in the wild. He agreed to take us on a herping excursion in his home state of Kansas and give us the opportunity to see some cool snakes as well as field test our new DNA hooks. We started the trip by flipping tin and other cover in the early morning while it's still cool. And it's great to have a hook because you can flip it and you're not going to get your fingers damaged by nails or sharp corners. And you're not putting your fingers down where the snake's mouths are. Maybe we'll actually find a snake to come. No, we know, huh? Well... <laughs> Are there snakes in Kansas? Just keep flipping, just keep flipping. So I'm thinking like Mark on the left, Justin on the right, and I'll be in the middle and if we find something then I can walk in. Oh, milk! Sweet! Ah. Fat little gentilis. Don't drop it on me. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, nice. Check it out. See the plane filter. That's cool. That's a really nice one. That's all good. So then just set him next to the tin and he should just crawl right through. Nice. The little milk snake was a big find, but the day was already too warm to find any other animals about. So to kill time, we decided to film ourselves putting the hooks through some real rigorous testing by flipping hundreds of pounds of limestone rocks. All right, so it's summertime, so we're really here at the wrong time of the year for this, but the hill that we're on is a great place for finding milk snakes in the spring, and there's lots of big, huge slabs of limestone. And what we're gonna do is take these cool DNA hooks here and uh, show that they're not just all look, that they're actually very durable and we're just going to go around and flip a bunch of uh, big flat pieces of limestone, right? Yeah. Alright. This is way as much as I do. Ready to get some exercise. Right? Alright, let's do it. Here's one right here. How much do you think that rock weighs? Well, for the, for the purpose of this video, it weighs 300 it weighs, pounds. We weighed it. We weighed it. <laughs> it weighs 800 pounds. 800. And I just lifted it with one arm. One huge manly arm. <laughs> Yeah. Come here, come here. Got a ring neck. 
Yeah. That's a big rock. And probably the only reason for that snake under is because it's so thick that it insulated, you know, it insulated the uh, the animal from the from this afternoon heat. Flipping the slabs of limestone without even a slight bend in the hook was proof enough for me. But Dan issued a challenge for me to actually hang from the hook with my full weight. So with little else to do until it cooled down, we gave it a shot. How much do you weigh? 200. 200 pounds. 200 pounds, all 200 pounds of ball python breeding majesty is going to attach this hook to a branch up above us and he's actually going to physically hang his weight off of the tip of this hook just to prove how sturdy it is. And, and again, we, it weighs five ounces. It weighs less than some fishing lure. So, okay, go ahead. <sighs> All right, so you can see it holds up to 200 pounds, probably more. I tried to give it a couple yanks to see if I can add a little extra weight to it. Um, Didn't bend. Yeah, we're going to go out and look for some snakes now and hopefully find some cool stuff. What do you mean hopefully? Okay, we're going to find some You're cool going stuff. You're going to find some cool stuff. Dan explained that in the summer, when it's too hot during the day, snakes will often move in the late afternoon and evening, and they can be located by road cruising. We're driving slowly along country roads. First we thought it was another bull snake, but as we got closer, we realized we had finally found a live prairie rattler. Oh, I'm looking at the camera again. I know, when you're not looking at it and it moves like that, it really freaks you out. I think it's a gravid female. It's really heavy. It's a really nice looking animal. Yeah. It's very similar to Mostagua, but you say it has a different head pattern, huh? It's the scalation on the head is the easiest way to tell, but this is this would be like the Size. biggest mass of saga anyone had ever seen. Right. But you see how stumpy uh, her tail is? Yeah. That's that a, it's definitely a female. You know, the males oh. will have a long tail. And then that, that fat, that real heaviness to her body there is most likely babies in her. What she's doing, you know, she flattens herself out to hide herself, but now she knows she's been seen. She struck at us a couple of times and we didn't leave. So now what she's done is she's actually hidden her head, just like your ball pythons do. She's protecting the part of her body that's um, that's the most important, which is her head. If you want to use your amazing hook, to use her head. Yeah, she's not very rattly. She really is. She gives you a couple of shakes. She's here a strike. And there. She's a 
a striker, but uh, not a rattler. So get some elevation for that. Nice. Nicely done. Just keep it, yeah, she's real watching heavy. us yep. while, while retreating. Exactly. She's not interested she's in attacking back us. Backing away, exactly. That's perfect. That's exactly what they do. She's keeping her tail out and her head back. She's watching us every step of the way, but she's crawling away. <laughs> what a cool snake. Excellent find. Wow, what an amazing watching that Virtus actually crawl backwards defensively. It really shows that these animals are, are not characterized right by the public. They're defensive-minded. They're not going to attack you if you leave them alone. I want to thank Dan um, for showing us around Kansas. He really knows his stuff in the herping community. He knows where to find these animals, and none of this footage would have been possible. None of this testing would have been possible without him. I hope you check out his newest project, www.alternarushthemovie.com. And check out that project. It's due in October. Pre-order it. Dan and Small Scale Films really need our help, and it goes towards the, the great community of herping and finding animals in the wild and protecting them in the wild. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.